Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah. I don't know if you can hear, but Daryl's watching uh, something in the next room. So that might be in the background. Speaking of Daryl, we have him to thank for today's video. Because we were at Walmart and we were, of course, going down the yarn aisle. Can't go to Walmart without going down the yarn aisle. And Daryl discovered Hill Folk. Now, I would have seen it, but he saw it first. <laughs> so, anyways, what Hill Folk is, is the, they're these creative kits. And here's one. So, this is a stamping kit. It says Funky Coaster Stamping Kit. And it comes with everything you need to make these coasters so you get the coasters and you get the tools to stamp with like here's all your stamps it looks like and you get the the ink to do to stamp it with so that's pretty cool I loved they actually have a bunch of different kits like this I got two so this is the second one I got, which it is a punch needle kit, and I've never done that. Oh, here is, oh, hopefully you can scan that code. I'm assuming that code goes to, um, yeah, scan code to learn more, uh, more about Hill Folk Textile. So yeah, scan that code and you can see all the different things that they do. They have all kinds of craft style stuff, which includes crochet, um, macrame, felt uh, needling, obviously punch needling um, and stamps. And I think there was some other stuff embroidery I think there was a pillow but they had all different things I'm gonna have to look up and post put how much I spent I think this was $9.98 and then I want to say this was $12.98 but I will put the prices up in, on the screen and yeah so today I thought we would do the punch um, punch needle set. My goodness. And let's see, it comes with obviously everything that you need. Five colors of yarn, uh, printed fabric, punch needle tool, plastic yarn needle, eight inch plastic hoop, and the instructions. And I, there's a little thing on the back. I'm going to read what it says. It says Hill Folk Textile Studio Founded by B. Apple and Trisha Logan is a new experience in contemporary and traditional fiber arts, reviving the culture of making. We created a thoughtful collection of kits that make it easy and enjoyable to learn, along with videos offering both instruction and inspiration. That is really cool. And it looks like it's Dimensions by Design, a division of IG Design Group America's Inc. And it looks like it's made in Atlanta, Georgia. And there's a uh, website. I will put that up. It's uh, www. Can I see? The des, the oh the design group dot com I think. So yeah, let's see what comes in our kit. I should have brought scissors. I should have brought scissors. Will this slide. I'm trying to open this. Oh, here we go. It's sliding a little bit. 
come out. There we go. It's coming. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're getting it. Sheesh. I do love the box. It's just a really simple design. And there again, I should have brought scissors. Does it open this way? Yeah, I think it. All right. All righty, here we go. There's your cheeky sneak peek. <laughs> so it said it came with the cloth and here's the cloth. And it has the design already on there, of course. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then here is your, um, plastic hoop. Gosh. And it is plastic. They said it's plastic, it is plastic, but it seems to be pretty store, sturdy, 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 my goodness. And here's all of your yarns. You get the five different colors. So we've got an orange. Does it say the color? No, it just has the design. And then this looks, it's a blue or a darker blue because there's two. So this is like a navy and then this sage kind of color, and then the more royal kind of color, and then the tan, okay? Our instructions. And last but not least, our punch tool and needle. That's really cool that it comes with everything. Let's see. Can I get this open? I should have brought scissors. There we go. Okay, there's the, whoops. That's what the punch tool looks like. And then the plastic yarn needle. And then this I'm assuming is the threader. So it, it threads the yarn into this. Cause yeah, I would, I would say that you would Put it through there and then pull it through so alrighty I'm gonna read the instructions and figure this out go get me a pair of scissors and yeah let's uh let's create hopefully mine will look as good as that <laughs> all right so here's the punch needle and this is the threader right here and per instructions, we're gonna go through this hole and then down the tube and come out this hole. So let's see if I can do this. I already had it, so I just took it off. Whoop. Took it out so that I could show you and apparently I can't do it in front of you. Okay, come on. There we go. There. I got it. Oops. Just kidding. I don't got it. Go down. There. There we go. Now we're going down. Okay. And it should. There we go. And it ends up here. So this is what we're looking like. And we're going to take the yarn and this they called it dark blue and the other colors are orange green and gold <laughs> I just did simple colors or titles 
I am trying to get the yarn threaded through. Oh, don't wanna, all right. All right, here we go. So it's threaded through. I need to make sure it's straight. There we go, come on. And we're just simply going to pull through. There we go. And it says to leave a five inch tail. So I just need to measure that out and then we'll be ready to get started. Alrighty, so I have my five inches and we're gonna get started. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm kind of nervous. So let's see, cause this is the first time I've ever done this. Here's our uh, canvas with the, the drawing on it. And I'm gonna start doing this leaf pattern right here. And, oh, and to note, so, this side is considered the front and this is considered the back. And when you start punching, you lead with the front. So, and it doesn't matter whether you're right-handed or left-handed because whichever way you are going, you're gonna lead with this, with the front. So like for me, I'm probably, I don't know. I'm probably gonna end up doing it this way because that's left to, you know, it's left to right for me. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to try and bring you down and see if we can get this started. This is so crazy. I've never done this before. So please forgive me. All right. So here goes nothing, I guess. It, I don't think it matters where I start. You just punch in. Oh. And over. And then to go the other direction, it says to rotate the fabric, not your needle, so that your needle is always the same. Oops. Uh, already made a mistake. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to pull this out and try to start over. <laughs>
So me being the beautiful procrastinator that I am and the fact that I need to get this video out in less than two hours because in less than two hours it'll be midnight and it'll be tomorrow. So that being said, this is what I've gotten done so far. Is it perfect? Not on your life, but oh my goodness. This is so much fun. I have a lot to learn. This side of this blue, the lighter blue, is all going to be orange. So all of this white right here is going to be orange. And then this side is going to have the gold. So I will finish this up and I will post maybe a short when it's done. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. <laughs> But this is so much fun and it makes me want to get one of those, um, oh my gosh, those, one of those guns, you know, the, the punch gun so that you can make like rugs and stuff. That would be so much fun. I've followed, um, the artsy mad woman and she does amazing rugs and I would love to learn how to do that. So this is like the very beginning of learning how to do do that to get a feel for how to do the punch the needle punching and um yeah i actually really love this oh and this is actually called reverse let me see it's the reverse needle punch i think is what it's called because technically this is the back and this shaggy would be the front now like i said i have a lot to learn how to work on this because it would be so much obviously you can see that there's like different height differences and so there's a lot that i need to learn how to do this but it is so much fun and let me know do you want to see me do the um this one the stamping the coaster stamping kit because that would be a lot of fun too so if you would like to see me do that leave me a comment in the dis in the description box leave me a comment below oh my goodness it's after it's 10 30. i'm tired i should have done this a long time ago because then i would have had it finished but anyways i will do a short when it's finished there you go I will do a short when it's finished, something to look forward to. But leave me a comment if you want to see me do the stamping kit. And yeah, look in the hill folk. It was so much fun. And there are so many different ones that I would love to play with, like the um, 
needle felting. I think that would be so fun. And the kits that they have for that, or at least the one that stuck out to me was mushrooms. So cute, red and white topped mushrooms. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to see what that looks like. I don't even have it yet. So I have to go buy it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I would love it if you would hit the like button. And if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click all on the notification bell. And with that, my procrastinating chaos. Gravity works, guys. <laughs> kidding I decided to go ahead and finish so I finished as far as the yarn aspect of it and it is not perfect by any means there's a ton of mistakes and it I don't know so it's not perfect but that's fine. This is my first time ever doing anything like this. And I think it's actually really pretty cool. So technically this would be considered the back side of the canvas. And this really textured part would be considered the front side. Uh, but for this, it's this is a reverse uh, needle punch. So this is how they have the uh, actual and whoops, here's the picture. Yeah. They did a much better job than I did, but then again, they created it. So of course it's going to be better than a newbie. <laughs> I still have a whole lot to learn. I started to get a rhythm. You can kind of see in this gold color, that I had a better feel for how to do it. So that being said, I thoroughly enjoyed making this. I am going to probably glue, start gluing this down and maybe trimming, I don't know. I, I'm definitely gonna glue this down and maybe put some glue just to keep everything from coming undone and leaving it, cutting off the excess, whatever. And yeah, I really liked this. I thought it was a lot of fun to do. Now I have a fun new tool to play with and I actually have quite a bit of yarn left over. So there you go. I'm excited. I can't wait to put this up on a wall somewhere. Uh, I need to get glue to be able to glue it, glue this part down. I know I could just trim it off, but I kind of want to put it on the back, like glue it like that so that it kind of protects it. I don't know. Anyways, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, if you did make it this far, put a pumpkin emoji. Yeah, put a pumpkin emoji, because we're that close to Halloween. I'm excited. Anyways, I will let you go. I hope you had fun. Look into Hill Folk, because, man, these kits are really cool, and they have so many different ones. I loved it. I would love to get more and maybe get some of these just by themselves since I now have the actual tool and create my own stuff with other yarn. So yeah, there you go. Anyways, have a great day. See you all later. Bye.